ladies and gentlemen, tonight is not about show versus show. It's not about brand supremacy. Tonight is a night that we take honor and privilege as the women of WFCW go out to the night to find out who is truly the one queen of the ring. As you see, the brackets are set. Seven matches here tonight to determine who will be the first ever WFCW queen of the ring. And we have a special treat for you all. It was announced earlier today that in the finals, that's right, you, the fans, have a choice to choose a stipulation for the final match. It is one, a two out of three falls match. Hit two, if you want to see them compete in a hell and a sale. Hit three, if you want to see the women compete in a 20 minute Iron Woman match. And hit four, if you want to see the women of the WFCW rip each other limb from limb inside a submission match. This is the first time that we've ever done anything like that. And I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. I am Earl Bryant. I am the voice of Tuesday Night Gods. I will also be joined by CS Killer Kid Boo, who will be calling the next two matches. I will be calling the first two, he will call the next two, and so on and so forth. We want to thank you all for coming out and making this a part of your Saturday night. Tonight we are bound to make history. It is destined for one of these women. And also the biggest prize of all. You win this. You put yourself in line for a shot at the WFCW Women's Championship. No questions asked. That's how big this is for you women. That's how big tonight is for each and every one of them. So without further ado, let's get the first match underway. It will be Joslyn going one-on-one -on -one against Ebony. This is a matchup of two incredible, unique styles, and I cannot wait to see what they bring to the table. This is, again, this is a small taste of what's to come on November 7th at the WFCW Women's Takeover pay-per-view. That is going to be monumental. Again, hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss any, and I mean any, WFCW action. We have been on a complete roll, but as I said again, this is about the women. This is about them going out there proving why they are the best of the very best each and every week. And Jocelyn and Ebony, like, I, I watch Jocelyn every week because I'm a Tuesday night commentator. And Jocelyn, she constantly is pushing herself forward to be better. She is constantly improving in that ring. She is constantly pushing herself to be better. And Ebony, we've seen what her and Toya do on Thursday nights. You see how well they've been working as a tag team. But tonight, it's about one-on-one. -on -one. Toy and Ebony can face each other in the finals. You, you never know what will take place. And here we go. Coming out first is probably the most energetic woman on the female roster. It is Jocelyn. And I'm sorry, she will be destined to be a women's champion in the future. The and Jocelyn with her new outfit. So quick in that and ring, and when Jocelyn gets into that gear, she is literally ripping and running and zigzagging all over the ring. I cannot wait. You know, I, I'm going to say, you know, I, I want to see a Tuesday night female winner, but damn it, each one of these females deserve to win it here tonight. And Jocelyn, she is pumped up. She is so ready for this. This is a big opportunity for her. 
Big opportunity for Ebony as well. And Ebony, she is the stylist. She is the, how do I put it? I got to talk to CS Killer Kid because he, he had the word and simply put for Ebony. But she is the stylist. She is a beast in her own right. And you got to believe that if you all vote for that submission match, that Ebony technically is the odds on favorite. She is a submission specialist. Like I said, also vote in the chat tonight. Hit one for the two out of three falls, two for Hell in a Cell, three for a 20 woman Iron Man match, and four for a submission match. And here we go. The wait is over. The first match of the first round of Queen of the Ring. And Jocelyn right out the gate missed with the drop kick. And Ebony with a big chop taking Jocelyn down. And now Ebony. But Jocelyn just so quick with a strict reversal and a kick right to the chest on Ebony. And now Jocelyn grabbing Ebony by all that hair and tossing Ebony right outside the ring. We are sold out here tonight in the arena just for the women. That, that's how important it is to these fans and to these women. They sold out in the arena. And again, Jocelyn missing with that drop kick. Big right hand by Jocelyn. And Ebony elbow right to the knee. And Jocelyn kicked to the midsection, getting Ebony up off her. And Ebony again going right back to that knee of Jocelyn. But missed with the roundhouse. Jocelyn throwing Ebony. Ebony tripped over her shoelace there. Big knee to the back. The ref is up to six. You know these women, they don't let countouts happen. And and look at this, Jocelyn. Jocelyn don't care. She'll take the count out. We are up to eight. And Jocelyn, there you go. Jocelyn showing some respect there. Stomp on Ebony. Ebony was trying to get up. And look at Ebony. Look at that. Blood, and bam! The flip out into a Isagiri. Kick Jocelyn right inside there, but Jocelyn with an elbow to the gut. And there's that single leg drop kick that Jocelyn been trying to hit. And now Jocelyn missing with that stinger splash. And look at Ebony dropping Jocelyn with a snake eyes. On the top of Ebony now, taking a brief moment that time there. And Jocelyn with a big punch. And here we go. But Jocelyn again with the reversal, not giving Ebony an edge here tonight. And Jocelyn, what is Jocelyn looking to do here? Picking Ebony up. Ooh, kick right to the face. And Jolly now with a stomp to the midsection. And look at their submission. Look at the, look at what Jolly got the knee at. Right in the center of the spine of Ebony. But Ebony now pushing Jocelyn up off her. Big drop kick by Ebony, taking Jocelyn down. And Ebony, she ain't afraid to taunt. She is not afraid to let you know she's putting in business. But Jocelyn reverses, throwing Ebony over the top of Ebony hanging on. Jocelyn now, look at this. N oh, snapmare into the ring, but Ebony missed the miss, rolled out the way of the kick. And now Jocelyn throwing Ebony to the corner. Now Jocelyn taking her time, walking to the corner. And Ebony right out the corner with a forearm to the face. Jocelyn catches Ebony, kick big knee to the face. And now Jocelyn throwing Ebony right back to another corner. Uh oh, this is what I was talking about when Jocelyn, when I said she gets that head of steam, bam! Big boot right to the face. Running big boot. But Ebony does not stay down, does not give up. And Jocelyn now with a headlock locked in on Ebony. Ebony kick right to the midsection. Ebony got the arms locked. Bam! And going in for the pin on Jocelyn. One, two. And Jocelyn kicked out at two and three quarters. And now Jocelyn with a jawbreaker on the Ebony. Ebony, side kick right to the gut, dodging that punch. Big clothesline taking Jocelyn down. And now Ebony setting Jocelyn. Is she trying to go for that submission? Ebony does a backstabber, then pulls your chin right back. Here it go. Right here. Pulling her jaw. And then now, Richard and Tampa Jocelyn 
Got her feet on that bottom rope. That was so smart. By Johnson to get out of that hole quickly. And then a big knee. A big knee. Uh-oh, Jolly now. Set me up. I've been wondering what she calls this. It's called the J-drop. Dropping Ebony right in her head. One, two, and Ebony kicked out. And this is just the first match, everyone. This is just the first match. And Jaws in there. Send the page out Ebony book with a taunt there. And Jaws, uh-oh. Ahead of steam by Big Jaws. Jaws in there. Feeling it. Ebony in the corner out of the three consecutive clotheslines. And Jocelyn, ahead of steam again, again with the running boot. But missed with the drop kick in the corner, and Ebony, oh, what a reverse DDT. What a reverse DDT, and now Ebony trying to pick Jocelyn up. And again, Jocelyn with that jawbreaker. And Jocelyn going for it again, the J drop again. It's over. One, two, and Jocelyn. Joslyn, what an impressive victory right there by Joslyn. Right here, Joslyn with a whole head of steam. I mean, I thought, I'm not going to lie, I literally thought it was over right here. Jo Ebony went straight in for the cover. I thought that was all she wrote, but no, it wasn't. And then right here, look at Joslyn. Look at how she got her foot on that bottom rope to get out of that submission. And then... Bam! The first of two J drops. I thought that was it. But no, Ebony had other plans. And again, Jalen with a whole head of steam. Ref had to get out of the way. And congratulations to Jocelyn. She will be going to the next round. Going to the semifinals. Jalen is just one win away from going to the finals now. What a match. Can shout out to both. Both of them. And that's right there. That shows you how much they wanted. You see that Jocelyn, she stepped her game up. And this is what I'm talking about. Every Tuesday, if you follow Tuesday Night Gods, you see Jocelyn is raising the bar each and every week. And as you see, Ebony, she's going to be hitting the showers for the night. But Jocelyn, she's going to get a small break in between these matches. Oh, man, it, it doesn't get any better than this. We are in for a roll and a journey here tonight. And the next matchup, it is Carmen going up against Shalonda, the queen of the people. This, this will be one good one. I don't think these two have ever crossed paths at all since they've been in WFCW. And tonight will be the first time ever. And that's what I like about this Queen of the Ring tournament. We're getting matchups that you don't normally see because the women are on different shows. And you you gotta gotta have that enthusiasm because Shalonda and Carmen, they, they won't ever cross paths. You know, like Ebony and Jocelyn, this is their that was their first match and they tore the house down. So you, you gotta give credit to where it is due. But this one, you know, I've been watching Carmen. She had a big, big broad physical. And I mean, it was very physical against her and Baby D this past Tuesday night. And Carmen showed that she is as tough as nails. She will bring the fight to you. And she picked up the victory over Baby D. Again, we want to thank you all for coming out and being a part of this special night for these women. And Carmen, she calls herself the queen of sass already, but tonight she could be the queen of sass and the queen of the ring. One step closer. That's all it takes. Just one little push. That's all it truly takes. Toya, you in it too. So how are you rooting for Jocelyn? Yeah, the women. And here she comes. 
Here comes the queen of the people. You know, I haven't had a privilege of calling a lot of Shalanda matches, but what I watch from Tuesday night, and I go over there and check out Thursday when I have the opportunity to check out Thursday, she seems to be on a rise. You know, I like the new attitude change. Sometimes you can't worry about, you know, trying to be the nice person. Her attitude, her adjustment, she's, she's kind of taking it up a knock. And you can tell that she's still looking for that right pattern of mixtures that she's putting together. You know, I... I see her and Stephanie, they're forming a tag team. As you know, they're trying to become the first ever WFCW Women's Tag Team Champion. But at the same time, she is also working on getting herself into a single competitor career. Carmen, Shalonda, and here we go. And we know both of these women are no strangers to powers. And there's a lockup, but Carmen kicked right to the midsection. And a clothesline taking down Shalonda. And now Shalonda trying to power her way through this neck wrist that Carmen has her in. And Carmen with the roll, drop toe hold. And now Carmen, strong Irish whip to the corner. Like I said, Carmen proved to us on Tuesday that she can dish out punishment as well as take it. And now, but Shalonda, big shoulder truck. And now a stomp. Carmen now, jawbreaker. And Shalonda stopping Carmen in her track. Carmen kicked right to the midsection. And Shalonda, big left hand. Now Shalonda has Carmen. What is she going to do here? Carmen smacking her hands out. And Carmen now throwing her back to the corner. Missed with the stinger splash. And Shalonda trying to go for the drop kick. And a big trade for chop for chop right there. Like I can tell you right now, this is going to be physical with these two. Big clothesline sitting Carmen down in the corner. And now Shalonda putting pressure with that boot and stomping right on the chest. And a big club and blow. Now picking her up. And now Shalonda now. Irish whip Carmen to the corner. Missed with the shoulder truck. And Carmen. Got Shalonda. What is Carmen going to do here? Oh, Shalonda with the quick reversal there. And now Shalonda spying first into the corner goes Carmen. And look at Shalonda. Ooh, the knee right to the face. And look at Shalonda now going right after the leg. Trying to take some of that power away. Big elbow. And now Shalonda going in for a cover. Only a one count there. And now picking up Carmen. But Carmen with a big punch right to the side. Carmen hosting Shalon. Ooh, with a spine buster by Carmen. And Carmen with a big kick right to the chest. And now Carmen trying to pick up Shalonda. But Shalonda, jawbreaker like maneuver there. Fireman Curry counter. These two are just trading blows here in the early stage of this match. Just trading blows. Drop kick missed again. Rolled out the way. And now Shalonda on top. Throwing those hands onto the skull and face of Carmen. Oh, look at this. Ooh! A kick right to the knees and a kick right to the face. Shalonda. She is wasting no time here. Hoisting Carmen up. What the hell is this? Oh my gosh! Shoulder blades and neck first to the canvas. One, two. Oh, Carmen with a quick kick out at two. OMG. That, that was pretty devastating to look at. And Carmen, but Shalonda again, kicked to the lower back of the leg. And now Carmen pushing off. And now Carmen. Oh, the Carmen on top now, driving the head. And now Carmen again. Oh, and Carmen, uh oh. We see Carmen use the baby. Oh, but miss! Shalonda rolled out the way and got out of that leg drop. And now Shalonda trying to take control again. Got Carmen on that top rope, slingshotting her right off. 
Big elbow drop by Shalonda again. And now a kick to the midsection. And look at Shalonda with the knee in the back. Richard and turn away at the neck of Carmen. Big clothesline by Shalonda. She is looking strong so far in this match. And Carmen now with a kick right to the elbow. Carmen with a club and blow. Big chop. Shalonda with a right hand. Shalonda hoisting, but Carmen pushing her off. Carmen didn't want no parts of that. And a big shoulder truck by Carmen. And Shalonda now using the ropes to get up. And look at Carmen now. Oh, dropping her on the top rope. But Shalonda not giving an edge here. Big clothesline taking Carmen. Down. What the hell? Wait a minute. Who is that Alicia Fox? What the hell is she doing here? What the hell is Alicia Fox doing showing her face here? And Shalonda not letting the distraction get to her. And Shalonda, Shalonda picked up the victory. And Shalonda now will face Joslyn in the semifinals. But look at this right here. The Verter breaker, but we got to figure out what Shalonda caused that. That was just spine driving to me. That, that hurt it. And right there, as it is, Alicia Fox. I wonder what the hell is she even doing here, but Shalonda not letting what Alicia Fox tried to do stop her. And Alicia Fox just tried to get involved with Shalonda now, but Shalonda nonetheless picked winner, up the big victory. Samantha. And she is literally one step closer to becoming queen of the ring. But she got a tough task ahead of her as she will be going up against Joslyn in the next round. Now that was totally unexpected. I did not know Alicia Fox was even in the building tonight. That was a shocker among shockers. And now, I'm going to pass you over to the voice of Thursday night, my commentating rival, C.S. Killer Kibu, as he will be calling the next two matches of the first round. So, give him a round of applause, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, everybody, to the Queen of the Ring. And we just had an outstanding very first half of the first round. And it's only going to get better, especially with the match that is coming up next. It is Stephanie versus Diamond. And let's not forget that this has a little history wrapped around it. And if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to break it to you. Stephanie and Shalon, uh, Diamond, when Diamond first debuted here in the WFCW, she had targeted Stephanie first. And the war that they had, the battle that they had, you could tell that there was no blood loss here. And these two tonight are about to take it up another notch. As they are both looking to become, as Earl said, the queen of the ring. This is going to be one of the hugest matches, and I am so excited that I literally get to call it. It doesn't get any better than this. Baby D, a.k.a. Diamond, Stephanie, possibly the two strongest women in the divisions. This will be very brutal. Test of strength. Let's get it on. Hey, listen, we're, we're going to try to keep the chat cool for, you know, that Tuesday, Thursday beef. You know, we, we know that's there, but tonight is about the women. It's about them doing what they do best. You know, I, I got to be respectful because Earl did not take no shots at Thursday at all. But he did say he's going to be a little bad because he wants a Tuesday to win it. I got to be that way, too, because I, I want Thursday to show our, our greatness. You know, we, we prove it each and every week, but we are denied. And 
you could just see, like I, I had a chance to talk to Stephanie, you know, I had a chance to get a small interview with her and Stephanie just said, it's time to make that Stephanie name, it's time to make it a household name. And, and I, I believe Stephanie can do it. If there's one person not afraid of Baby D, if there's one person not afraid to take the fight to Baby D, it is Stephanie. Baby D, we do know she has a date with Tatanya on the 7th for the WFCW Women Nationals Championship. I cannot wait for that. Elise and Tatanya, I know Elise firsthand is watching this very closely because one of these women will be a future number one contender for her championship. And Diamond, the biggest woman on the roster. No stranger to danger there. And here she comes. Here comes Stephanie. And Stephanie keeping us waiting. Now, there she go. Stephanie Major now. Like I said, she is definitely one Stephanie. of the stronger women in the WFCW. I don't know what pad tie is, but I'll take it. And I'm not gonna lie, over here on Thursday night, Stephanie has impressed me since the moment she came into the WFCW. Even on Thursday night, she is constantly improving. She is looking and working to becoming the best woman. And let's not forget, she is the first ever female to end Queen Toya's undefeated streak. And the third match of the first round, here we go. Stephanie, Baby D. And here we go. Right out the gate, Baby D just slamming Stephanie. Like, this new outfit, you actually see the size of Baby D. Like, the frame, the height. She is monstrous. And Baby D trying to wrap. I don't think she wants to get into an actual chain wrestling match with Stephanie. And as I said, Stephanie, no stranger to matching power with Baby D right there, taking Baby D down. And again, a lot. And look at Stephanie pushing Baby D back to the corner. And the ref trying to get in the middle of it. Just straight up and down. There we go, some more power. And Stephanie again, showing her power game again. And she is just pushing Diamond back. Diamond, right out the gate. What an opening as the ref gave when he broke it up. But Stephanie with a quick clip up. Oh, missed with the big knee to the back. And Diamond now. Look at the takedown by Diamond. Big club and blow. And look at this. Oh, kick right to the knee. Lower hamstring. And look at, look at Stephanie driving Diamond on the back of her knee. Oh, big chop to the chest and pushed her off and down. Oh, and down. Oh, Diamond now just, just tossed Stephanie right there. And a little kick to the back of the head. And clipped up Baby D. And now what's going to happen here? To the ropes. Up and over. Big elbow. But oh, Diamond on one knee. Diamond did not go down. And now Stephanie got the arm. And now she's trying to tear down but diamond those big haymakers those big winter like haymakers and now hoisting stephanie up on her shoulders samoan drop and diamond try to go for and stephanie moving out of the way of those right hands with a double chop and now stephanie with a kick right to the midsection and taking diamond down And now, Baby D applying pressure to the shoulder neck area. And that, you tell you something, that really hurts. And slamming her to the canvas. And smart move right there, pulling her away from the ropes and going in for a quick cover. Only a one count there. 
Oh, missed with the big right hand. And a close off to the diamond. Straight to the outside. And Stephanie going up high. And Stephanie. Ooh, missed with the elbow. You got That's the thing about the top rope. It is high risk, high reward. And now Diamond going right to the elbow that Stephanie just missed. But Stephanie now throwing little sprinkles of frosty flake punches at Diamond's rib cage. Diamond missed with that clothesline. And here we go. Diamond got the headlock locked in. And now what's Diamond about to do here? The ref up to six, Stephanie fighting out of Diamond's grip. Throwing him into the ring. Big right hand. And a little collision right there. And again, Stephanie, is, she has been in mostly control. And then it's going right after the arm. She has been in control of this match for the most part. It's like Baby D cannot get herself in the position that she is trying to get in. And a big side kick to the gut. Big clothesline. Almost sitting Stephanie's upper body into the audience. And that double axe handle. Baby D now trying to get her groove in. Tossing Stephanie into the corner. And a big boot by Stephanie. And Stephanie sweeping her leg. Somebody's been watching Daniel LaRusso a little too much. And down, uh oh. Oh, but Stephanie, get out of it. Foot off that big mitten and slamming down and head first to the canvas. And look at the power of Stephanie just lifting Diamond off the ground, going into the cover. One, two, and Diamond kicked out at two. And Steph literally thought that was three. Damn it, I thought it was three as well. And now Diamond with a big uppercut. And now Diamond throwing Steph to the corner. Oh, missed with the big splash. And now again, if it don't work the first time, try and there it is, the big splash. But Stephanie, look at that takedown. Look at that arm drag. And oh, oh no, and Diamond out of no. Ooh, did you see Stephanie head bounce off that turnbuckle? And Diamond taking complete control, but Stephanie like a cat landing on her feet. And Diamond again, bam, gorilla press slam. What the hell? This is the night of. It, are we seeing a women's invasion going on right now? What the hell is going on? What the hell? The chicken roller skates? And Baby D kicks out. What the hell is up with these women interfering? Big clothesline by Baby D. And look, oh, big right hand. Oh, kick to the midsection. And now Diamond. Oh, Stephanie showing some athleticism there. Big body shot. And now Steph, beautiful neck breaker. And look at this submission. Look at this. Diamond. Is she going to attack? Steph bending and twisting that spine. But baby, oh man, baby D got the damage is done. The damage is done to that lower back. And Steph now, is she going to hit her with the Steph slam? Are we about to see the Steph slam? Hoist her up, but baby D with a big mountain elbow right to the face. And a big right hand now. And what's baby D doing here? What is baby D about to do? One, two, and a splash. And now going in. One, two. Oh, and Steph kicked out. Steph kicked out. What a match between these two. And Steph, what a jawbreaker. Big taking down and down. And now Steph, what a little laugh. Like I told these two, 
do not like each other at all. And look, look at this, right onto the arm and shoulder. And now Diamond going in for a camel clutch submission. And it is locked in tight. And was, and Steph just tapped out to Baby D. What a match, what a brawl. I told you it was going to be physical. But what a match. Baby D with that big captain clothesline right there. But the camel clutch right here, look at this. Bam, that, that had to do some damage right there which made the camel clutch even more effective. And as you see right here, Steph kicked right out. But it was Baby D. And if Baby D is looking this strong in the first round, I feel sorry for her next opponent. We could be looking at the queen of the ring. She has the size, the power to dominate this tournament. And she may have just took out the one woman that can match her power for power. What a match. Again, everyone, please vote for what stipulation you want the finals to be in. You have hit A for two out of three falls. Hit B for that hell in a cell. Hit C for that 20 minute Iron Woman match and hit D for submission. And here we go now. We are jumping the gate right into the fourth match of the evening. It is Mary going up against Latoya. This is the final match of the first round, and then we're going to go straight into the second round. All right, we, we, got, we got two A's and one D right now. And this, this is the first time that these two have actually met. Now here's the bonus thing for Murray, and this is why I know Murray wants to win this. If Murray wins and she's the women's champion, don't nobody can compete for her. She can automatically just say, well, I, I can hold on to this, no one can tend to match. But at the same time, if she faces Elise, when she faces Elise on November 7th, if she loses, she can just turn right back around and, and say she wants a match because she will be the number one contender regardless. Th that's the bonus with Mary right here. That, that right there, that is truly a, a twist for Mary if she wins this. We have had three good matches so far. And now is the final match of the first round before we kick things off in the semifinals. And here comes Mary. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I have high hopes for Mary. But she's going against Toya. And we know how good Toya is in that ring. Especially in one-on-one. -on -one. Toya picked up a big victory in a fatal four-way match this past Thursday. And she is looking to steamroll her way to the top. Making her way to the ring from Maryland, Mary. And here we go, Mary, the number one contender though, but is also looking to become queen of the ring. This... I just want to know, if, if, if Toya wins this, she will never shut up. I'm letting you all know that right now. If Toya wins 
the queen of the ring. She will never shut up. That's just the way it is. I, 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 I know, it's just life. It's just life. I paid my taxes, I didn't ask for this. And here she comes, the first ever WFCW Women's Champion. At one moment, it was her and Anthony. They were dominating the divisions, but Toya lost her belt, and now she is looking to get back into that form. She says right now, it's about winning that tag team titles, becoming the first ever WSCW Women's Tag Team Champion. But a win here tonight will also make her legacy even more greater here in the WSCW. And Mary, Queen Toy, two of the darkest. <clears throat> Never mind. And Murray, what the heck? Murray, you can't do, just come out and just throw punches like that and miss. And Toya, what we're going to say, I will give Toya the strength advantage in this one. And the height. But I'm going to give Murray the speed. The technique, they could be about even on that. And look at Murray breaking Toya down. Breaking a taller woman down to bring her high. And Toya, now transitioning to an arm ball. And Murray rolling out of that arm ball. And look at Toya. What a reversal. And, and back into the locker. But Murray got the head. And now Murray. We've seen this. Once they get them down on one knee, they can try to overpower the bigger and taller, stronger person. But Toya, what the transition into the headlock. And Toya now still wrenching in turn. And Murray just can't see it. And Toya now finally got that leverage to get the head takedown. But Murray back on their feet and now Toya with a kick right to the midsection. And now... Average with Murray to the corner. And, ooh, a strong one as Murray went down. But Murray now. Snap man onto the legs. Taking out the leg. And now Toya. Arm drag takedown. Oh, damn. Clubbing blow right to the back of the head. And what's Toya about to do here? Toya with her own little bitch flash. But Murray, she's seen that one time too many and put the knees up. And now Murray, did you see the toss? And now, but Toya with a jawbreaker onto Murray. Missed with the clothesline. Toya said, uh-uh. Slams Murray to the mat. Now Toya, Boston Crab locked in. Boston Crab locked in tight. And now Murray with a kick right to the face. And Toya now, hoisting Murray up. Toya now, look at the power of Toya. Squatting with Murray as she's got her up. For a suplex! What power! And now Murray with an elbow counter to the knee. Missed with the clothesline widely. And now Toya again. Strong average whip to the corner. But Murray with the quick reversal. Clubbing blow to the back of the head. Rushing leg sweep by Murray. And Toya catching Murray leg. Takes her right down. And now Toya got the arm, but Murray with that vicious right hand. And missed again. Toya with a punch right to the gut. And now she got her. And now Toya. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And look at this. Got the arm now. Toya takes her down. Big leg drop onto the arm. And now, jawbreaker on the Toya by Murray. And Murray finally, finally collected with that clothesline. And Murray, oh man, do you see the taunt? And Toya now, big clothesline on the Murray now. Oh, and Toya going up to the tippity toppity tippity toppity rope. Toya, oh, missed with the frost splash. Or in some cases, you can call that a water bug splash. And now Murray throwing Toya to the corner now. Big clothesline to the back. And now Murray picking up Toya. Oh, now Murray 
What the other like a submission, I believe. Oh no, Murray just wearing Toya down right here on the mat. And Murray right now showing her rise is good. Now Toya right back in transition with a headlock. These two are putting on a wrestling clinic at the most part. And now Murray with the leg taking Toya down. And Murray going in for the single leg crab. But Toya got her arm on that bottom rope. Didn't want no part of that single leg crab. Toya with a big elbow to Murray. Missed with the close line. Murray with the reversal. Now Murray. Toya. Neck breaker by Murray. And Murray going to the dip 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 and Murray, wait a minute now, Murray, off the top, oh, and missed with the elbow, took a little too much time there. And now Toya, looking to take clean advantage of Murray, as Toya holds her up, springboard suplex off the top rope. And now Toya, setting Murray up. Wait a minute now, big right hand. And Murray with a close line on Toya. Uh-oh, Murray again. She's trying to get the people behind her. Sometimes you need that second gust of wind, and the people can give you that. Tell them, Jay New. And Murray, oh, but Toya stopped her dead in her track. Oh, again, again with that close line. And Murray again. Oh, now Toya with a club and blow. And now things may just start to get physical. Toya got Murray up. Toya, what's going on? Ooh, face planted Murray. But Murray, so quick with the reversal. Kick right to the face. And Toya tried to go for the takedown, but Murray had it scouted. And look at this. Look at the transition. Ooh, elbow right to the arm. And now Murray again. Going after that arm, she just elbowed, but Toya. Now with those fists, boom, 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 boom. And Toya, the power, oh, into the curb buckle. And then a power slam on the Murray. And now Toya going in for a cover. One, two, and Murray kicked out at two. Big knee right to the back, but Murray taking it like a champ. And a hit again, tossing Toya. But Toya again with a reversal. What a damn match. And now, bam, slamming that arm. And what's Toya? Toya got some good distance. What is Toya looking to do? She's like she's ready to slice Murray in half. Spare! Spare by Toya! One, two, and Murray! This is why the women bring their A game each and every week. And Toya, oh no, Toya got Murray up. Looking for that LT bomb. And Toya got all of it. And Toya now dragging what looked like a knocked out Murray to the right. And now in position. One, two. Oh man, Toya picks up the victory. But what a match. What a fight by Murray. And if Murray keeps this intensity, that same energy up, when she faces a lease on November 7th, without a shadow of a doubt, Murray can become the WFCW Women's Champion. That was one hell of a match, though. That was one hell of a match. Right here, that spear. I thought Toya had it right there. She really ran through Murray, but Murray, ah, she had a little bit left in the tank. But Toya now the faces the biggest the challenge of her career as she goes against Baby D in the next round. Wow. So the semifinals are officially set. It will be Shalonda and Jocelyn, Baby D and Toya. OMG. OMG. Oh, oh. <laughs> now, for the next match, I'm going to be passing you all back over to Earl. I'll be calling the Toya and Diamond match. And then in the finals, it will be Earl calling the finals because I have to take off after Toya, but I will still be watching.
So without further ado, I'm gonna pass you all back to Earl. Yes, yes, nonetheless. Thank you, CS Killer Cable. Nonetheless, what a match, what a match, what a brawl, what a battle. Again, if you are new to the WSCW channel, if you are new here, join us. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss any WFCW action. And again, this is just a small, and I want to say it with the utmost respect again, a small sample of what's to come on November 7th at the WFCW Women's Takeover pay-per-view. You're going to see, oh my gosh, oh, oh. And now this match has my interest because I want to know how these two styles are going to contract in this match. It is Shalonda going up against Jocelyn. And remember, whoever wins this, they are in the finals. No if, no ands, no buts. They are in the finals. Whew. Literally, you are literally one step closer to signifying your name, cementing your name in the WFCW history books. So much. And the, the sad part is, this is only our first year. Literally, when January rolls around, that will literally be our first year of WFCW. Tell me we did not have one hell of a first year. OMG, it's only five. And as you can see, these women, there is no breaks. They take their small break when they go on the back and they come right back out to give you more of that WFCW action that we are famous for. And here comes Jocelyn again. Jocelyn picked up a big a victory in the first round over Ebony. Back. And she is looking Making to continue her, her to momentum. From Maryland, Josh and I'm not gonna lie, Jocelyn, she she is looking like a potential winner here. Like, I mean, I've been calling it for weeks and weeks that she is a future world champion, a future national women's champion but but you, you gotta give her 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 props of improvement over the weeks and here comes shalonda again From Maryland, and about what she beat carmen carmen you know is a little upset in the back but hey that's what happens you know this is a, a opportunity you know everybody wants this they all into this they they want to win Nobody wants to be one and done, and sadly, that's what just happened in the entire first round. Four women are already gone. You know, Baby D is looking like a front runner. Jocelyn, all these women are looking like this is their night. That's a Cracker Jack ring, Jay. New stop lying. You know you went through like 50 boxes to find that ring. And Jocelyn is ready. So, oh, Sharonda, she, she is poised. Oh, missing the clothesline. Oh, Jocelyn with that standing insecurity. And Shalonda rolls to the outside. The thing about when you fight Jocelyn, you want to slow her down as much as possible. And Shalonda got Jocelyn up, but Jocelyn with the reversal. And now Shalonda grabbed Jocelyn right out of that punch. And Jocelyn with those elbows right to the gut. And a kick right to the leg in the forearm. And another one. And Jocelyn just unleashing strike after strike. And Jocelyn slap suplex on the outside. Wrap up the six now. And Shalonda, big right hand. And now throwing Jocelyn back into the ring. And now a stomp to the lower back. Oh, again. And look at this. 
Johnson with a Russian leg sweep. But Shalonda again with a big time shoulder truck reversal. And now picking Johnson right up off the ground. And bam, suplex. And now picking Johnson up, but Johnson again with the jawbreaker. And missed this time with that standing insecure. But kept her with the arm drag takedown. And now, jo ooh! Johnson with that split jawbreaker right there. Jalen be trying to dislocate Jaws when she's fighting. I'm starting to see that now. And again with the arm drag takedown. And right now, Shalonda, she is fighting at Jalen pace. She needs to get back in advantage. And a big time reverse chop from chop. She needs, and look at this, T-bone suplex. That's what you got to do when you fight Jalen. You got to slow the pace down. And look at the reversal by Shalonda on a Jalen. And now, Shalonda hoisting Joslin. Backdrop on Joslin. And did you see the way Joslin bounced off the canvas with that one? And you got to wonder what type of fatigue is going to kick in. What type of shape. Like, whoever wins and goes to the finals, they're going to be torn up. Like, the finals is going to be gruesome. And Joslin with a kick right there to the midsection. And again, Shalonda with the reversal. Joslin again. And Shalonda tossing Joslin right to the outside. And Anthony, why are you like a low budget version of The Rock? That's been bothering me since we've been born. And a big right hand. And again, Joslin with the reversal. As you can see, Shalonda is trying to wear it down. But also, Jocelyn is trying to keep the pace in her area. She's trying to keep that fast, quick pace action. And now, another push. And there you go, Jocelyn. Toss Shalonda back in the ring. And I got to give it to her. I don't think I've ever really seen a count out besides when Tommy got counted out. And Jocelyn. And wait a minute, Jocelyn. Running out of the corner of the corner. Oh, but Shalonda had it scouted. Shalonda had that very well scouted. And look at, ooh! A rampage-like maneuver on Joslyn. One, two, and Shalonda capitalizing on Joslyn miss. And Shalonda is going to the finals right here. Bam! Joslyn leg got hung up. And Shalonda picking Joslyn up. Bam! Dropped her on her head with a rampage-like move. And she took advantage of a mistake on Joslyn. And that's how quick the tie can turn. Here is your winner, Samantha. No, no, Willie. Uh, you and Anthony fight on Tuesday. Wow. It, the thing was, as you saw in that match, J Joslyn was trying to dictate the pace. And that's what I'm talking about because Jocelyn used a lot of energy in that first match with Ebony. And then she came out again trying to utilize that same energy. And you can see that it was wearing her down. And then Shalonda, she just capitalized on a mistake by Jocelyn as she popped her leg right to that corner. You saw it. And Shalonda just capitalized. And now Shalonda will be going to the finals. And now, as I said before, it is no rest for the weary. No rest for the weary. It is now Baby D going up against Toy. And I'm not going to lie. This, this right here, this is the first time they've ever crossed paths. Really, and this, whew, here we go. All right, all right, fans and in the chat, this is your last opportunity to vote because after this, I will be going through the chat to see what match had the most vote. Hit A for two out of three falls, B, Hell in a Cell, C, 20-minute Iron Woman match, 
in D submission. After this match, I will scroll through and we will figure out what type of match these women will have to determine who will be the first ever Queen of the Ring. And you gotta wonder, like Diamond, like she just had a good brawl with right there with Stephanie. And you gotta wonder, like, what type of condition did, did she use all her power in that match? And Toya, we just saw her and Mary put on a clinic together. The following contest is a championship tournament semi-finals match. Making her way to the ring. But here comes Baby, Baby D. Baby D. And she, I'm not going to lie, like, to tell you, if you are watching, that is your opponent on the 7th of November. I would be worried about her, if anything. You know, I do want to make a little bit of announcements that Tavron will be in action this coming Tuesday. Willie, a Thursday night guy, will be coming to our house, and he will be facing Anthony. The, the show baker, Yusuf, will be in action. And we're going to have a stack card for you all this Tuesday. The Queen, Brian. And Toy, I mean, I'm not going to lie, Toy. I, I wouldn't even put the damn jacket back on. I'd just come to the ring. But I understand you want to be styling and profiling on your way to the ring. I understand. But Toy and Diamond, this will... I, I mean, I love Toya. You know, we all know that she's very good. But I'm sorry, I gotta be bad. I, I gotta root for Diamond. I got, I gotta root for the Tuesday night girl. And here we go, right out of the gate. Oh, kick right to the midsection. Now I lock up. And Toya, Toya, trying to power her way through Baby D. Look at the face of Baby D. Like really. Are you really trying to overpower me? And now Toya, average whip to the corner, up and over. Oh, Toya, look at that. And Toya with a, oh, and, uh, that, that's what I'm talking about right there, baby D. Did you see the way she just looked at Toya when she ran to that wall and Toya now chopping at the lid and look at baby D again. Just towering over Toya. And now, dropping Toya face first. And now Baby D rolling to the outside and Toya following up. And Toya, big right hand on the Baby D. Missed with the chop though. And Toya, oh, with another punch. And a clubbing blow to the back. And Baby D, what do you think you're doing? Just tossing Toya with one hand. Jawbreaker by Toya on a Baby D. But Baby D right back on her feet. And Toya with a kick right to the midsection. And Toya, oh, but Baby D with a quick revert and a chop block to the back of the leg. And now Baby D throwing Toya right back into the ring. And taking Toya down. And a stomp. And now look at Baby D. Look at the power. Hoisting Toya off the ground. Gut rich. And now Baby D going in for a quick cover. One. Only a one count there. And no woman is 100%. Big chop. But Toya with a reverse miss with that clothesline. Oh, Baby D now missing with a clothesline. And Baby D hoisted Toya, bam! Darren is like literally no shame to throwing that power around. And Toya now with a big body shot. Toya now holding Darren up. Oh, squatting! Those are the moves of the purpose little butt, bam! Well, for those of you at home that don't know, Anthony, Toya, little butt, they are all related. And Toy, oh, but Baby D with the reversal. And now Baby D throwing Toya right to the corner. 
What does she got in store? Oh, we seen her do this. We seen her do this to Stephanie earlier. Shades of Vader, bam! Squishing Toya. And, and that, that may be it, because we know they're not 100%. One, two, oh, and Toya with the kick out, and Baby D cannot believe it. And now, Baby D trying to pick Toya, but Toya, quick again. Toya dropping her with an STO. And Toya, uh-oh, Toya snapping her neck and Knuckle trying to pick it up here. And Toya, don't tell me she's going to do that to Baby D. Uh, uh, uh. And now, going in for the cover. One, and on, only a one count. It's going to take a lot more than that to take down Baby D. Big elbow right to the face. And a close line. And now going right into the cover on Toya by Baby D. One. Only a one count there. Oh, miss with a big kick. And a kick to the lower back of Toya. And now Baby D tossing Toya right to the outside of the ring. And Toya now with a club and blow. And Baby D with a right hand. Just trading them big mountain like haymakers that tore your face. That's what it sounds like. And, uh, and look at Toya. Look at oh, slamming her. And throwing her right back into the ring is Toya wanting that quick victory. And now Toya with a big right hand. What is Toya going to do now? She's in position, but Baby D. Ah, Baby D. And a big claw. Big claw now, Baby D. It's, it's, it's pretty much wearing Toya down. Look at Toya looking lifeless right there. And now Baby D. But Toya again showed the truck. And wait a minute, Toya. Toya looking. Toya looking to hit that spear. We seen her do it earlier. Toya with that spear on Baby D. Toya going in for the cover. One, two, and Baby D kicked out. Oh my goodness. Toya hit that spear. And, and Toya, uh-oh. What is Toya waiting for here with Baby D now? Toya. Baby D got that mitten wrapped around Toya. Baby D choke slam. But Baby D should have went for the pin there. Jaw breaking by Toya. Toya hoisting Baby D up. But Baby D with the breaking. Oh, look like she took an eyeball right out the socket with that. And the fatigue got to be kicking in on both of these women. It just got to be kicking in. And now Baby D uh, throwing Toya to the corner. And Baby D looking to squish Toya like a pancake on her way to the finals. <laughs> oh, and the, the fatigue right there as she had to take a knee. I would have just, just went for the cover. And that's exactly what she's doing now. One, two, and it is now set in stone. Shalonda will go one-on-one -on -one against Baby D in the finals. Baby D showing that she can truly hang and dominate. And, 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 and no love lost to Toya here. None, none whatsoever. Toya literally bought the fight to Baby D. But Baby D is like a wrecking ball. Right here, that spear. I thought Toya had that spear. I thought it was over with that spear by Toya. But right here, Baby D, enough game spam. And now, Baby D Baby is going to the finals to face Shalonda. It, it, it is, is the prophecy true? Is Baby D about to run through this entire tournament?
And now we're gonna take a small break while I run through the chat. You have a few more minutes to put in your vote for A, a two out of three falls, B, a hell in a cell, C, 20 minute Iron Woman, or D, a submission. And I am about to go through the chat right now and read what you, the fans, have decided will be the main event of the evening in the finals. The finals! And baby D, I gotta admit, she is looking phenomenal. She is really looking strong. And I, I gotta be biased because she is the Tuesday night. And now it is up to her to represent. Only. And this is also gives both of these women a, a small breather. It gives them a, a, a tiny breather to figure out what they're gonna do. All right, you all in the chat, you fans, you the people watching have spoken. And Shalonda and Baby D will compete in the finals of the Queen of the Ring tournament in a two out of three fall match. Now, that way there is no speculation of who deserves to be the champion. So let's go, let's go right ahead and put that up for these women. <sighs> Shalonda, Baby D, both of them had strong, strong showings in this tournament so far. But now, the endurance is definitely about to be up even higher. I know the Thursday nights are rooting for Shalonda. I know Tuesday nights is rooting for Baby D. But at the end of the day, either one of these women, they prove that they deserve that opportunity. And we just got word in from Benjamin himself. Because of the success of this tournament, second place, you will not be going home empty-handed. Because you came in at second, you will be the number one contender after Diamond and Tatiana's bout on November 7th. You will be the new number one contender for the WFCW Women's National Champion. That is huge. That lets you know right now, the stakes are at the great. That's why you wanted to get this far. Benjamin, smart move right there, man. Smart move. Hey. Put it in the chat. Who do you all think is winning this one? Shalonda or Baby D? Who will be queen of the ring? I, I, I want to know. Who, who's going to be queen of the ring? Toya, the vote over. It's over, Toya. Oh, two out of three for Shalonda going up against Baby D. And like I said, the break they had, it wasn't long enough. They had enough time to drink a swig of water like this. <sighs> Probably, you know, put an ice pack on any part of their body that's injured. But right now, Shalonda coming to the ring first. And I gotta admit, this has been one hell of a queen of the ring tournament. These women, I, I'm sorry, they are truly outstanding, just phenomenal athletes. Nothing but respect to whoever wins or lose. But you know that nobody wants to come and say, even though you're a number one contender for Titania's belt, the question is though, you don't, do you want that? You want what Elise is carrying. You want to be on the top of the food chain. And Shalonda is looking, I'm not going to lie, she is looking probably at one of her best right now. She is literally looking at the best that she can be. 
and Baby D. After that grueling match with Toya, after that physical match with Stephanie, how much is left in the tank of Baby D? Literally, she has to win two falls here to win. And Baby D has won one match by submission, one by pinfall, and that, in my book, says she is, she is looking the strongest right now. Now, I will say Shalonda may have more of a, a rest advantage because, you know, she capitalized on that mistake from Jocelyn and was victorious. And here we go, right out the gate. Shalonda with a drop kick, but Baby D still standing. And now Shalonda with a kick to the lower back of the leg. And Shalonda now, snap suplex on Baby D into the pin. Trying to do things quick, but Baby D wouldn't even let the ref put his hand down for a one count. And now, big haymaker by Diamonds right to the body. And now, oh, but Shalonda with a quick reversal. Dropping her with a reverse DDT. Shalonda is trying to stay strictly offensively here. And a neck breaker. That is smart by Shalonda going after the head area of Baby D. And look at this. Again, bam, big knee right to the head. And oh, now going after the leg. Smart targeting the body. And now going right back to the head of Baby D. Slamming her straight to the canvas. And now Diamond with those big, big earth shattering legs pushing off her. And a stomp. Oh, the power. And a big kick right to the chest. Big elbow drop. And Miss Wildly with that kick. And Shalonda again, stand on top of Baby D the best she can. And that's what you got to do in this match. But Baby D with a big right hand. And now them body shots. Those ferocious body shots of Baby D. Oh, missed with the drop kick. I didn't even think Baby D could do a drop kick. Big European uppercut by Shalonda. And Baby D. And Shalonda wisely rolling to the outside to take a breather. But here comes Big Baby D. Here comes Diamond. Head first into the apron. Big body again. And Baby D, uh-uh, big close. Now look at the ref. Come on, y'all. Get back in the ring. Let them fight, ref. Let them fight. And Shalonda now reversing that transition from Baby D. And now Shalonda trying to take it to the steps. Head first. Shalonda looking in complete control at the moment. The ref is now up to seven. And Shalonda throwing Diamond back into the ring. Big knee to the lower back. Oh, no. Bam. Kick to the knee and a kick right to the head on Baby D. One. Only a one count there. Baby D does not go down that easily. And what Shalonda Shalonda looks like she's trying to, to pick a spot. But Baby D back to her feet. And look, oh, but Baby D, you're not suplexing me. Bam! Reversed it. And now a big kick, but Shalonda taking it like a champ. But Baby D reversed the rope. Tossing Shalonda over the top rope. And now Baby D belly to belly to the inside of the ring. And now Baby D going in for the cover. One. Only a one count there. Nobody wants to go down a fall in these type of matches. And a big haymaker by Shalonda. Oh, missed with the drop kick. Oh, and that smart by Shalonda now chopping. Chopping at those mountain legs. And Baby D with a haymaker again. Bam, big uppercut. Missed with the drop kick again. Oh, this time connects. Big elbow. And now Shalonda trying to pick up Baby D, but Baby D, arm drag take there. And Baby D now, we've seen what Baby D likes to do. And look at this, throwing her on the middle rope. She's about to apply that pressure. Oh, here it comes. Bam!
And there it is. Oh, but Shalonda. Look at Shalonda go. Getting out of that choke slam. A baby detour neck breaker. And here comes Alicia Fox again. What is her problem with Shalonda? And Shalonda taking on all comers in this match. Bam! Shalonda ain't no punk. And Alicia Fox. Oh, Shalonda taking on every and everybody that comes in her way. What is a what is she even doing here? Bam again. You need to draw your attention back to Bay and Shalonda. Shalonda looking like a boss right now. And now hoisting those arms. Going in for that vertebra breaker again. But can she do the baby D? Yes! And Shalonda going in for the first pin. One, two, and look at it. Look at this. And Shalonda looking to do it again. And no way. No way she can do this twice to Baby D. No way. Ah. Bam. Going in for the cover. One, two, sh oh, Baby D, she is a damn monster. Baby D is a freak of nature. No way. Come on, Shalonda. You ain't got three of them in you. Baby D said, even if you're dead, I ain't getting caught by it. And choke slamming Shalonda. Oh, my goodness. And now Baby D picking Shalonda up. Choke slam. And now, Baby D, one, two, and Shalonda kicked out. And now, Baby D, got Shalonda throwing her to the corner. And now, Baby D, looking to flatten her, looking to get her first ball. Baby D with the big splash. And now, Diamond. Going in for the cover. One, two, and Shalonda. <laughs> These women. And now, a little payback. And Baby D's wondering, what the hell? And it's the boss. What the hell is she doing here? What the hell? What a wild night. What a wild finals. And look at this, but Baby D, I can fight them all off too. And shit, yeah, the boss ain't want no parts of Baby. Go, get her, Baby D. Don't let her run around. Don't let her think she can walk in your house and ruin your finals. But Shalonda catching Baby D. What a crazy, crazy night. And I mean crazy with the utmost respect. I've seen one interference in the match, but I've never seen two. And now Baby D throwing Shalonda back into the ring. These women, how much more do they got left in the tank? And Shalonda, well, we're about to find out. Throwing Baby D, oh, missed with the big splash. And now... Shalonda, ooh! Wait a minute, Shalonda, that's not your comfort zone. Don't go to your comfort zone. Don't get out of it. Ah, and miss with the elbow. But that just tell you how much she wants it. And look at Diamond, small package. One, two, ah, oh, kicked out. Oh, uh, wait a minute, what, what is Diamond looking to do here? She is setting Shalonda up. Diamond. Wait a minute, she's not going for a jackknife, is she? But Shalonda, fist the fur to the head. And Shalonda now hoisting Baby D up. Rampage! Rampage! And Shalonda, no way! Shalonda, and prettier! And prettier! Shalonda going for the cover! One! Two, Shalonda, 
is up one fall. She is just one fall away from being queen of the ring. And Baby D said, not like that. Not that easy. Oh my goodness. What a finals. What a match. And what's Shalonda doing here? Oh, Shalonda going after the stomp to the midsection on Baby D. And Shalonda starting to feel it now. But Baby D got other plans. Close line. And the ref telling Baby D, and now the ref checking on Shalonda. Never seen that before. But big shoulder truck by Shalonda. And Shalonda pulling down and away from the rope in a stomp. And now Shalonda, a submission on Baby D. A submission. Is Baby D going to attack? But Baby D transitioned out of it. And all oh, trading blows, trading fists. And Baby D, Baby D taking her down. Baby D got that mitten up. And Baby D, bam, choke slam on Shalonda. And now Baby D going in for the cover. One, two, and Baby D has tied this up at one fall apiece now. And Shalonda missed with that clothesline. And Baby D got her up, bam. And the, the, there you see the fatigue. The fatigue really weighing in. And Shalonda with a strong reversal. Shalonda with a big punt, Baby D with a big boot. Oh, punch right to the lower back. And Baby D again, throwing into the corner. And Shalonda with a reversal of her own the clothesline. And Shalonda picking up a Baby D with a clip up. And look at that, fatigue really kicking in. Oh, big kick right to the gut. These women have been through so much. And now again, and, oh man, Baby D is looking, to, is looking to put it at the end. Baby D looking to end it here. Oh no. Bam! I think that may do it. I think Baby D has just made history. One, two, bam! Shalonda, what the hell? What's it going to take to win? Come on, Baby D. Come on. Ah, she caught the leg. Thank God. Baby D got her up on the shoulders now. Samoan drop. But Shalanda again with a jawbreaker. Missed with the drop kick. Oh, big right hand. Oh, drop toe hold. And Baby D again with the big leg. And Baby D, come on. Wait a minute, baby. What the, oh my gosh. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, Baby D. A moonsault from the top rope. One, two, and what? Wow. And even Baby D is shocked. Big European uppercut. And Shalonda with a reversal. And now Shalonda throwing down into the rope. Big elbow. Oh, man. And now hoisting Baby D up. Bam! With a rampage like maneuver. And now dragging her to the center of the ring. Ref in position. One, two, and Baby D! These women, are, they, they are lost. They are shocked. They cannot believe it. Nobody on their, in their seats in this one. And Shalonda, bam, oh, the second time. The second time. One, two, and Shalonda is the queen of the ring. Oh, 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 I'm exhausted.
exhausted and I wasn't even in the damn match. That was one hell of a match. Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to drink some water. Oh, my goodness. Not just the Here's tournament itself. Samantha. Every match was just phenomenal. Oh, my goodness. Shalonda, you have submitted your name in the history books for all time as the first ever WFCW Queen of the Ring. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm really, I mean, I was rooting for Baby D because that is a, a Tuesday night person, but nonetheless, nonetheless, congratulations to Shalonda. Truly, truly deserved it. Nothing but respect. All eight women here tonight put on one hell of a show, but through it all, through it all, Shalonda remained victorious. And she is the queen. She can now officially say she is the queen of the WFCW without a shadow of a doubt. And now we know that after November 7th, after Murray and Elise go one on one, we now know that Shalonda will be eyeing in on the winner of that match. I, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, uh. Words cannot explain how, how I am right now. Words cannot explain what type of night, what type of evening, what type of greatness that we just saw. I got to... I'm on my feet. You guys don't see me, but I am literally on my feet in this arena. They are still on their feet, applauding and cheering. You, you, you know something, you, I got to give you that one. Credit to where credit is due. These women, and remember, this again, I, got, I can't say it enough. November 7th may be the greatest pay-per-view in WFCW history. Now, now, everybody in the chat, everybody in attendance, everybody watching around the world, before we log on tonight, before we pack it up, stand up and give a round of applause for the first ever WFCW Queen of the Ladies and gentlemen, what you all just witnessed here tonight was history. And it will be more history made on November 7th. You can count on that. So now, hit that like, subscribe button, follow, so you never miss any WFCW action. I will see you all Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we have a hell of a car. Tyrone is in action. John versus John Rogers. Two out of three falls for the IC title. Anthony versus Willie. As we draw closer 
to the Titans versus Gods, the Gods versus Titans pay-per-view. As we are drawing closer, these battles are getting more and more tense. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for being a part of the WFCW. Good night. Get home safe. And we will see you all Tuesday.